Team Marvel Strike Force fans, this is Fred the Fast and Comic Guy here, and today we got a new legendary character for the team, the Astonishing X-Men. So if you've been breaking the bank and unlocking all the characters, you'll be happy to have this character finally to finish them up. And if you're like me and you're broke, you weren't able to get yourself Bishop yet because he's <laughs> really, really expensive, even though he's probably one of the most important characters. So, a uh, little bit about Jubilee. She had her first appearance back in 1989 in X-Men number 244. So that's actually a pretty good comic. Uh, she was created by uh, Chris Claremont. And uh, yeah, probably, well, he was doing a CGC signing recently, but you know, I had to pick and choose and I picked a different comic via autographed and uh, by him. So, a little bit about Jubilee. She has pyrotechnic ability to shoot out of her hands and everything like that. She is able to make objects explode. And she is also able to evade telepathic detection. So that's like her basic powers at a very, very simplistic matter. A little bit more about her in the comics during the House of M event. Which is kind of what's going... Might happen in the WandaVision movie, who knows, uh, just uh, theories type of thing. Uh, but basically the M House of M event, uh, Scarlet Witch, she depowered a lot of the mutants. She was basically like, want no more mutants type of thing. And when she did that, a whole lot of them lost their powers and Jubilee was one of the mutants that was depowered. And uh, to keep her in the comics, she ended up becoming a vampire and which was kind of cool. Then she ended up being like a teacher while she was. Well, she has a kid also, and uh, not her actual kid, it's an adopted kid. And uh, later on, she became like a teacher at the Xavier School for kind of the kids that are not really good, you know, the, the rebel, like the bad kids. And uh, one of them threw her outside because uh, she had like an amulet that kept her from being hurt by the sun. And they took the amulet away from her and they threw her outside into the sun. And one of the other students has like this phoenix shard inside of them. And they use that phoenix shard to keep her from dying. And as a result, it fixed her from being a vampire and also brought her mutant powers back. So that's kind of what happened to Jubilee. So she was a mutant, then she lost her powers because of Scarlet Witch. And then she became a vampire and then she became a mutant again. So, yeah, this is a quick story about Jubilee. So, I already went through the whole thing. I already got her at five stars. There she is. Yay, we are all super excited. What does that mean? Well, that means I'm going to try to get some red stars on her. So, let's see here. We will. Spend 400k gold. And after we do that, we go to our supplies. I got, I wish I had a lot more, but unfortunately with the other X-Men characters being very stingy, I wasn't able to uh, get very good uh, stars. Open multiple orbs. We'll take that off. So what, they say to do is let's see if we're in a good seat. Go right here. We we'll open these guys up. Alright, what do we got? Alright, so uh, garbage pretty much. We want yellow. Come on, we want yellow. Nope, we're not doing four, five. Seven. Nope. No. Nine. All right, so that means we are not in a good seat. Let's try this again. Go back to our Jubilee. Hmm, thought I favorited her, but I guess I didn't. We'll 
favor of her again. I'll spend another 400k. Alright. Back down here. Let's try that again. Alright. One. Nope. That's funny. We got the stitcher first time for both of them. Oh. Okay, what was that? Is that a... I'm not sure about that one. Let's see here. Hmm, 6%. Well, I'm not sure if that's a... I don't think that's it. We want that 2%, right? Yeah, that's 5% also. Doesn't look like it. Oh, alright. Try it again. We'll do another 400k. I'm just doing too much. I'm doing like 410k, right? Also, to point out, I did open, I have opened up more than the uh, 25, and I didn't get one symbiote Spider Man. Even though that thing is crap, I don't think. Yeah, I think that one was uh, five percent for this crap. Yeah, get five hundred. Still not in a good seed. <laughs> wow. See, I'm telling you, the seed theory doesn't actually work like they say it does. Nope. Alright, I will do it again. This will be the last time, and then I will just say screw it. And I'd actually rather win them on these guys anyways, right? All right, we're getting close, but we won't. we're looking for a million. No, we need a million. We need a million. We're close, though. Well, at least I'll be able to, like, you know, level her up for sure. Well, you know what? Let's just try it. So, we will, right now, she is at a 15%, as you can see. 15% chance to get her. I'll just follow it down. There we go. 
Oh, let's see. What we get her? Okay, pull it. Oh, garbage. Garbage. Nothing good. Oh, I'm out. Okay. No. Not just yet. Level 65. Let's try this again. So, let's open up more of these guys. game likes me today. A one star. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, you suck game. More garbage. May we'll be lucky we'll have two more fours after this. very possible, you know, if I stop getting these twos. Of course, it's like, you know, when you say stop giving me the twos, they'll give me the ones. Ah, oh, characters that I already have. Star right now. All right. Well, let's go back here. Look at that one red star on Jubilee. How beautiful is that? Let's uh let's try that again. Now that I got a couple of fours. Alright, what do we got? Crap! <laughs> Garbage. Alright, at least this will give me two fives. Oh, it didn't. Oh, no, it did. Okay, good. So, we got two five. We have two chances. She'll get a minimum of five red if I got her. Will it happen? I. With that luck, it's not really. Doesn't seem very lucky right now, does it? Oh, may I even get a seven? Like, look at the, the rate of the chances here. You know, 2.5% chance for a seven, 17.5% for a, a six. Let's see what we get here? Okay. All right. Uh, just wait for the little thing in the back here. All right. It's not. Ooh, we did get the five red. Awesome. Okay, at least she's going to be a full five red. All right. You know, I just had to go through every single one of my red stars, pretty much. So, we will upgrade her. All right, that's nice. I'm happy that she got at least a five red. Like, I'll I'll show you my Astonishing X-Men team, as because I had nothing but horrible luck on them. Let's see here. Are they actually at the top? Actually, yeah, I think they are at the top. Yeah, so here you go. Astonishing X-Men. So see, I got two Iceman. Three Bishop when he came out. I was just trying to open them up to see if I got any so when he does get unlocked. Like, and I got three for Kitty Pride. Like, horrible, horrible luck. Uh, Beast, the only reason why I have him at five is because we had that event where they gave away a five if you got far enough in it. So, yeah, needless to say, I'm not going to work too hard on this team until 
I'm able to probably buy their stars or randomly get lucky. Anyways, I'm going to upgrade her as much as I can, and we'll try it out in Blitz. Alright guys, so this is what I basically got her up to. She's at level 67. I got her 3 in ISO 8, and we just got her up to 53,101. Uh, only tier 10 gear. Uh, a little bit low on these guys here, unfortunately. But eh, I'll farm those up later. And she's at 666 for abilities. So let's check out her abilities. So, Firework Blast is her basic. Attack primary target for so and so damage. 50% chance to apply blind. And raid, always apply blind. So that can be useful. And T4, 20% extra chance to blind them and an extra 60% damage. It's not too terrible. Would be useful in like things like uh, arenas or blitzes. For her special, Plasmoid Party. Apply offense up to self and two Ram Astonishing X-Men allies. Attack primary target for so and so damage. Gain assist at 50% damage from three to four random Astonishing X-Men allies. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Gain and assist 50 at 50% damage from two random non-summoned, non-astonishing X-Men allies. This attack is unavoidable and cannot be blocked. On kill, spread three negative effects from the primary target to all other enemies. This will not spread stun. So that's not bad. Uh, apply offense up to all astonishing X-Men allies. And 60% extra damage to the primary target gains us from all the stuff. So this sounds like it'd be a very strong T4 on her. So I'd probably recommend that if you want to work on her. For ultimate splitting atoms, let's hope that's freakishly awesome because you know she sounds like she'd do a lot of cool uh, graphic stuff. Uh, attack primary target for 300% damage, plus 30% piercing, plus reduced speed bar by 50%, and apply stun. Wow, that's really nice. Attack all other enemies for this much damage, piercing, and apply slow, one slow, to all enemies. In Rage, apply offense down for two turns to all enemies, so that's pretty useful. And basically, more damage, more damage, more damage. Um, not too bad. Passive, everyone's favorite thing is the passive, see what they do. When Astonishing X-Men ally, Drops below 50% health, fill the ally beast speed bar by 20%, and generate an ability energy for ally beast. So basically, yeah, if someone gets lower, beast will, she helps beast to save the day. On an enemy death, fill astonishing X-Men ally speed bar by 25%. On a character, on this character's, in each astonishing X-Men or Wolverine ally's turn, apply assist now to either self Wolverine or Ram Astonishing Ally. Gain max 20% health for self and other Astonishing X-Men allies. And raise gain plus 20% speed for self and X-Men allies. And gain plus 3 damage for self and X-Men allies. So that's pretty useful. And fill speed bar by beast by more. And extra health and extra damage. So yeah, I guess a T4 now will be pretty good. So let's say for the I'd actually say the special first, maybe the passive second. So let's try her out, see what she does in a blitz. What do I got here for a blitz? I am at eight. Well, that's gonna be painful. So I'm going to have, basically this will be my astonishing X-Men team here. I'll throw Beast, Kitty Pride, and then we'll put Wolverine there, there actually. So this will be my team that I'll be using for this. Since I actually did take Wolverine out of my regular X-Men team to replace them with uh, Psylocke and Swarm, basically. Because yeah, these five here are now my regular X-Men team. So I guess it's not the end of the world that I didn't get Bishop. At least Wolverine will be here. <sighs> Alright, what do 
what do we got here? We got, I want random, I want like, so this might be a little bit too hard. Okay, maybe this one, because uh, Hell is pretty weak here. Take that off. All right, let's see how she does against a slight Asgardian team. And really, we just want to see her uh, special, her graphics, and see how they look. Uh, I'm quite happy I did, even though it did cost me a five red star orb, I'm pretty happy that I did get her at five red. Would have been cool if I got her at six, even though she's not a six star character currently. Only had it on times three. Interesting angle there. There goes Iceman. Yeah, I didn't really work on Iceman too much. As you can see, once I, I got him unlocked, and yeah, I didn't uh, work on him at all, really. Oh, look at all those uh, negative effects you just did. I would like to kill Loki because it's probably going to do his annoying thing. There we go. Oh man, they actually did it pretty. It was past an 8, 8.1, 8.25, whatever that would be. If they actually win this, I'll be a little happy about that. I guess in this case, Wolverine wasn't able to beat the Hulk. In the comics, the Hulk and the Wolverine had a lot of uh, legendary comic fights. There's like two what ifs, and there's like their main fight. Too bad she doesn't have synergy with like all the other X-Men at all because, you know, like say you want to take out Psylocke or Storm and just throw them in there. Because then you can work really hard on this character and you wouldn't have to worry about the rest of the team. Alright, so they won. That's not too, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. Uh, what I think, she thinks she's pretty fun character. I can't wait to not use her because <laughs> not because I don't have the team or anything ready for it, but because, you know, resources are being allocated to other areas of the game. Uh, you know, I want to get into DD4, which actually luckily today, I got my last character to uh, gear 15 to be able to qualify to get into there. I'll actually show you guys. I just got it. This is my last character. Hopefully, I will be able to... I think it's a good start. These are my guys. This is the guys I'm going to uh, Dark Dimensions 4 in. You know, I got two legendary... This isn't... The, I wanted to go with all global characters, but oddly enough, I didn't want to work on my legendary characters till later because they won't be needed for later. And as I only got two globals right now for after I beat the first four nodes. So, you know, 
Darth Spider. He's definitely needed anyways for the city areas. These guys will be needed for the uh, legendaries. These two will be used for the uh, global notes. So yeah, I think it's a good start uh, that way. But uh, Jubilee, I thought she's, I think she's a really cool character. I can't wait, like I said, I can't wait to not use her. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get her once uh, Iceman and all of them are farmable, I'll probably work on them. Uh, maybe I'll try and get to Iceman here to level 60 and everything like that. You know, just so I kind of like are a little bit closer together. Like that 13 here is pretty uh, bad. Here, why don't we just get him up to level 60? Oh no, don't got enough gold for that. Well, here, we'll get him up to level 50 for now. So when I do work on it, I won't break the bank too horribly. And, oh yeah. Yeah, and then just do a couple more of these things, basically. But, I like her. I think she's got a really cool uh, animations. I think the team will do good in raids and everything like that. But, do I think uh, she'll really do well everywhere else? Uh... Like her T4, like her special ability, as you saw there, it does work with other allies too. Just with two other characters, so could be useful in other areas of the game. And like other teams, basically. So she's not completely anchored down with uh, the Astonishing X Men. So, yeah. Anyways, that is Jubilee, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate every view I get. Please leave a like below. If you liked what you saw today, please hit the subscribe button on the left and check out one of my other videos on the right. And remember, keep it comics.